The retrenchment at Rosh Pina's incorporation was announced last year to let go of employees through voluntary separation, early retirement and forced retrenchment. The company said this is necessary as operational costs are too high and need to restructure to meet their profit goals. This retrenchment was meant to take effect end of March, but currently the Management and Mine Workers Union, MUN, are locked in arbitration. Henceforth, the retrenchment has been set for end of April as a dispute was declared by the union. Then we said, did the community, did the employee, did the workers have it to suffer because somebody could not be able to manage the business properly? Because we could have a problem if they say, you know, comrade, there is no production, there is no product, there is no natural resources in the mine, therefore we are, we are retrenching. We could understand it. The district executive says at least if the mine would cooperate with Vedanta Scorpion Zinc to use their refinery instead of exporting their raw materials to South Africa, they could create more jobs. However, Vedanta Scorpion Zinc and Roshpina Zinc Corp are currently in arbitration in South Africa because of the Gargaru project outside Roshpina, where they speculated jointly for new resources. The resource turned out to be zinc sulfide mined by Roshpina Corp, for which Vedanta proposed to refine the resource as their life of mine is ending in 2017, but was rejected by the mine. I think it's a time for us now to call the head of state to intervene in order to rescue, in order to rescue the situation for the citizens of this land to be able to have the bread and the butter on their table to give their children, their wife and their husband. Brown state government should try to have shares in all companies as foreign owners reportedly do not care about the workers. Glencoe International is a 80% shareholder in the mine, while P Minerals is a 19% shareholder, with the workers holding 1%.